What is up, guys? We have the one, the only, if, you, if, if you're on TikTok, you know who he is, but the bearded Wookiee on Hot Mess Espresso <laughs> today. <laughs> what is up? What's up, homie? How are you? Good, 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 good. So uh, we met on TikTok, same agency, same, all that, all that good stuff. Uh, yep. What even got you on TikTok to begin with? <laughs> I take it you uh, hate this question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for the longest, I was completely against TikTok. I was like, mm-hmm. China ain't getting my information. Oh my god. And my ex, <laughs> my ex, was always on it. Always mm-hmm. on it. Like, like, oh my god, look at this. This shit's so funny. And I was like, okay. And then I started doing the armed security job, mm-hmm. sitting in a car for twelve hours at night gets kind of boring if there's no action so she suggested hey why don't you get on tiktok create an account and watch videos and that's how i got started was watching content and then uh started making content of the crazy craft that i'd see in downtown seattle and then i was like "Ooh, well i'm a funko pop collector let me show this off and so originally on tiktok i was dv kenny 420 Mm mm-hmm and then I was like, man, this just ain't happening. I, I need a new name. I was like, Wookie, Chewbacca, Wookie, Wookie. I'm bearded. My beard's a great attribute. Bearded, bearded Chewbacca. It is an nah. epic ass beard. Thank you. I was like, uh, bearded Wookie. Bam. My ex's lies, eyes just lit up. She's like, <laughs> that's it. I'm like, yeah. So that's it. It has absolutely nothing to do with Star Wars either. That's the funny thing about it. I know. I think that's my favorite part about it is you've you've never seen a Star Wars movie, right? No, not one. But I know who the characters are, but I've never right. seen one. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you're not under that big of a rock. I've actually never really. I think I've seen one, one Star Wars because my ex uh, dragged me to go see, like, The Last Jedi. I think. Return and then dump me that night. So, like, you know, it's really like it's not. (laughs) So, if I already didn't like Star Wars, like, I got dumped after a Star Wars movie, it's fine. So, (laughs) (laughs) oh, that's great. See, it's great. It's freaking great. But, um, yeah, no. So, we've kind of bonded over our mutual, uh, we bonded over a few things, but um, our, our mutual like love of mental health and normalizing it for people and all of that stuff. So did you start off being a mental health advocate on TikTok or did it just kind of evolve? It kind of evolved once I started going live <clears throat> and realizing how hateful of a place that that app can actually be how toxic toxic how hateful and how detrimental that it could be to Mm -hmm. somebody's mental health and it just evolved from funny goofy god now you know peace love positivity stay positive love your life Mm -hmm. like there's there's light at the end of the tunnel you just got to keep fighting the good fight to get there and yeah it just kind of evolved once you see the shitty side of tiktok you don't want to be a part of that because it's yeah. not cool. And yeah. Yeah. It's uh yeah, I've been involved in not, not too much drama, but enough where I'm just like, why am I on here? Especially with live streaming. Cause like, let's <laughs> chat about live streaming because, Oh my God, what is going on with some of these trolls? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if they got a creative name, okay. You, if 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 you're a troll and you got a creative name and you mm-hmm. come into my live and you say something that makes me laugh, my hat's off to you. Right, exactly. Like some of them just like playfully troll. It's, it's the other ones you got to worry the about. Hateful, the ones that, yeah, the, the ones that playfully one, yeah. troll though, I find hilarious. Like there's been times where I have trolled back the trolls to the point where they're like, "All right, you gotta follow because that was actually kind of funny and like you didn't get." pissy i was like no because honestly like 
not for nothing, but I've heard worse. And, you know, I figured <laughs> like, if you're going to come at me, I'm gonna come at you and we'll see who cries first. And it's probably going to be you. So, <laughs> you know, but then he, then he gets a, like the really shitty trolls that like, I don't want to say they've like gotten me off of like TikTok live, but there's been times where I've taken like a couple of weeks off because I'm just like, where do these people come from? Because I mean, they, they're the usual, like, you're fat, you're ugly, that's not in the third. And it's like, I know I'm not either. But after a while, it just kind of gets to you. So how do you how do you deal with like, the really hateful ones? I mean, obviously, you have mods that are just like, boop, as soon as they get shitty. Yeah. But how do you how do you kind of like reset from all of that? I just for a while there, I, I, I've actually let it get to me. Because mm-hmm. I would read it and I'd, I'd, I'd feed into it, which is ultimately what they want you to do is to feed into their into mm-hmm. their little rude ass comments. And they want to mm-hmm. watch you crumble because they get off on it because they're sick, twisted individuals. So after a while, I, I just stopped feeding into it. I'm like, I was fine before they came in. I'll be fine as soon as they're gone. Poof. Right. Gone. Gone. Right, right. I, I, I just don't. I guess I. I compartmentalize it and right in one ear and out the other yep and then just keep on trucking I mean I haven't I haven't had I've had maybe five five incidents that I can count on where one of them actually made me cry on live and it was back when I was first starting to go live five hateful incidents so I've been pretty fortunate yeah yeah, you definitely, um, over time, do build, like, a much tougher skin when it yeah. comes to streaming just because you have to. Sorry, but... my dog farted. <laughs> oh, God, that's the worst. And Don't get any ideas. Oh, oh. <laughs> go. God. Why, why are dogs? That's just what I want to know. Why are dogs? Because mine would do the same thing and then just, like, leave the room and look offended because I was just like, girl, you stink. He he literally jumped up off the bed to come look into the bathroom and have his butt right in front of me. <laughs> God. See, this is the podcast to be on when this shit happens because, like, hello. Smokey's offended. Smokey's <laughs> sitting right here looking at me oh, with no, the mask. No, not the cat. <laughs> She's offended. Oh, poor girl. Poor girl. I told you two animals not to do this. This is not a good time. (laughs) Look, I told my entire zoo to behave, and so far, so good, but I'm waiting for one of them to just come flying across the keyboard or to just do something stupid or, like, my neighbor's having the audacity to speak outdoors because then the dog's going to lose her mind. Like, it's fine. Everything's fine. (laughs) It's going to happen. I know. You've been on my lives enough, you know. It's going to happen. You've you've listened to enough episodes, like, somebody's always... (laughs) causing a causing a scene over here causing a ruckus it's the zoo version of jerry springer some days (laughs) that's fine everything's fine just like there's a random fight in the middle (laughs) it's it's all good (laughs) then 30 seconds later it's all peaceful exactly exactly that's fine everything's fine so okay how do you manage your own mental health in general especially with being an advocate Okay, so I've had three bad experiences with counselors and therapy, so I don't mm-hmm. do any of that. That has gone out the door. It has for, what, 15 years? And then uh, I didn't really know any coping mechanisms until my last bad stint, uh, July 4th of 2021. Mm. Nope, 2020. No, 2020. Hold on. My years. Years are hard for <laughs> I know, okay. especially like since 2020. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was like last COVID's... year. And I'm like, no, it's 2024. Like. 2022. July 4th, 2022. So none of the previous above. Got it. <laughs> yeah. 2022. Sorry about that. Forgive me. Oh, you're good. My bad. Uh, yeah. You think I, I can remember like anything? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I had a I had a real bad, real, real bad uh, episode of depression that that uh, ended up ultimately costing me my relationship because 
I didn't open up. I didn't talk about it. I just mm -hmm. suppressed everything, suppressed it, suppressed it. She left. And when she left, uh, it was just kind of the big explosion. And I was fighting the demons, fighting, fighting, fighting every day. And then uh, psychedelics, I give all, all, all credit to, to uh, <laughs> magic mushrooms. And to be clear, just for whatever sake, uh, you live in a state where that's legal. Sure. <laughs> sure. Wait, yeah. I thought they were. Well, so they are decriminalized here. Decriminalized. Okay. So my, I, I mean, shit, you can go to the, you can go to certain smoke shops and buy <laughs> mushroom yeah. chocolate bars, but yeah, mm -hmm. so. I, I I did a I did a lot of research on that. My my older brother, he's got his own his own issues and he's always been like, dude, just try it. Just try mm -hmm. it. Just try it. It'll change your life. And I went out there to a concert with went out to Colorado, went to a con a two day festival with him mm -hmm. and saw a shaman and man There we go. It, it it was like it was like a whole new world and then with all that and everything that i learned from that and just continuing to do my research on it you know i like to go out in mother nature and do a little micro dose and just let the let nature nature and feel all the feels and let it out i mean that's literally a coping mechanism is grounding and literally touching grass and like getting in tune with literally touching earth mm -hmm. so that makes complete sense. So that's what I do. I'm not very, I don't know how to articulate it in the right words. Uh, oh, you know. um, hi, hello. Have we met? Do I know how <laughs> hi, to do nice anything to in the correct terminology? Like, come on. It's, <laughs> this is, this is hot mess espresso. Like it's fine. I mean, I, like says it all. the chaos is beyond welcome. Yeah. So, but yeah, do you get like a lot of, people that are kind of in your chat jumping a little bit, or is it just kind of, you just try to spread as much positivity as possible kind of thing? I just try to spread positivity as, as, as much of it as possible. I do get a few people that, you know, reach out to me mm -hmm. and I do know uh, a couple of resources that I can point them in the, in the direction to, to go and get the help or to try to help themselves, I guess right. is the best way to put it. Right. You know, I'm a, I'm a big av advocate of 988, my favorite radio yes. station, uh, my favorite DJ on there. Her name is Katie Babs. Every, every time she's on there, the last 20 minutes before she gets off, she always says, I want to take a moment. She spreads out the message of 988. I, I, I put that out there that I'm a big advocate for that. I've, I've called that thing twice since my breakup. Big advocate. Yeah. 988 is an incredible resource um, mm -hmm. for anybody struggling because it's uh, incredibly hard to get into therapy or get to see a doctor or anything like that um, because for some reason, mental health is still a privilege, not a right in this country. Don't get me started. I will be going on for hours about how much that pisses me off. Um but it's still a privilege and not a right and not something that people can easily access for, you know, financial or whatever other reason. So having 988 and having the ability to get help, especially when you're just in a, in a crisis situation or you feel like you're about to be in a crisis situation is so, so fucking vital. Yeah. It's so important. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. I don't know about... I mean, I know I feel the pressure sometimes, but do you feel like the pressure sometimes, especially like being a mental health advocate that you have to like, I guess, um, be there more than like you feel you may or may not be mentally capable of, or have you never really had an issue with that? Uh, I've, I've, I've never really had an issue with that. I think I've, I have, uh, in, internal barriers. Mm -hmm. to where I'm not going to allow somebody's problems to consume my life and right. what, man, that sounds so selfish when I say no, it. No, it doesn't. Like, no, it doesn't. You, you know, have to put yourself first. You, you I'm have learning to, be to do a, that. 
Yep. You got to be able to set that barrier to be like, hey, mm-hmm. look, I'm here for you. I love you. You you matter. You're important. Like, if you need an ear, I got you. If you need some serious help, here are the avenues. That's Try what I've this. started to do. I'm Dude. like, look, I can be a listening ear and give you like a little bit of advice. But if I feel like it's beyond my wheelhouse, here's some here's some resources for yeah. therapists in the area or like just call 988. I'm a big 988 girl, obviously. Hop up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, um, but like, there's only so much we can do. And I think I struggle a lot with not being able to be like there enough sometimes, but that's obviously a me thing that, you know, I need to work on, but it's nice to know that other people are at like the point where they can put up boundaries because there's hope for me yet. <laughs> It's like an empath thing, I think, is what you yeah, got going on. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I am empathetic to a point. Mm-hmm. And I don't know where that point came from because literally somebody could come knock on my door and be like, I'm freezing cold. Right. Here are the clothes off my back. Come inside and warm up for 10 minutes and then see you later. Mm-hmm. You got 10 minutes to get warm, 10 minutes, I'll help you try to figure out a plan. To get you where you need to go and then that's it well those are just healthy boundaries yeah you know you gotta have you gotta have those things and i never and I'm, I'm i'll be 41 this year i've never known about boundaries or any of that type of any in any of this stuff that i've just been learning about for the past couple of years and it's fucking amazing because it changes your life it really does like i'm starting to put up boundaries with a lot um like my platform, my, you know, family, friends, and it's, it's very strange. And I'm still like, learning to not feel guilty about it. Mm -hmm. But it's been really fucking nice. I'm like, wow, I actually have like, the bandwidth to read a book. Like, this is so nice. You're not stuck on buffer. I I did. (laughs) Heather.exe is not responding. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. We can't have a serious episode when the two of us are at. Like, you should, you, honestly, like, if you're watching this, you should see us on when we're both trying to, like, battle on TikTok. But if you're hearing this, it's it's a good time. It's a good time. It's, it's always a good time. It's always and I mean, a good that's, time. Shameless plug time. That's exactly what my TikTok is about. The yeah. Bearded Wookiee 1.0. The Bearded Wookiee 1.0. Uh, I've created a place. It's a place for people to come to escape <clears throat> mm-hmm. the bullshit that they have going on in the world and forget about all their problems. To have some fun and to maybe hear something that might touch them in a, in a way that might help them uh reposition themselves to a better place in their life than where they're currently at so and that's all we can do and you know i listen i get on there most of the times i'm having some wookie juice and some wookie herbal supplements <clears throat> you know uh so i get on there and i and i just have a good time there's times where i get on there and i'm i'm emotional <laughs> where i'm fighting my demons on there myself like it's to me, it's a great fucking platform. And yeah, but that makes you real. That at is the end of that the day. Is, yeah. Well, I mean, the way I am on on the app is the exact same way that I am outside and I, of the app. And I can attest to that because we're obviously like friends off app. Yeah. And you are the same, same like fucking person. Kenny, Kenny is the same person. Whoop! Government name drop for those of y'all who don't, you don't know my real name, Kenny. Is the exact same person as Bearded Wookie. There's there's no uh, facade there, this, that, and the other. There's several people that I've talked to outside of the app. I got a Snapchat group called Wooktopia that it's a that place for people to. Yeah, it, it, that's fine. Yeah, I, I couldn't. It gets it gets a little wild in there, but it's a place for people to just come and have an outlet to whatever shit that they got going on. Just mute the notifications for eight hours a day and you'll be fine. I promise you. I, I still get the like notifications. Like right now, it's, 
Yeah, like I know. Right it's, now, it's, it's bing, blowing. bing, bing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But, but you've created that space for people and you've created that community. And that's like what we need to do. It's not just falling on you. You've created a community where if somebody's like, hey, I'm going through this, like, yeah, you're going to acknowledge it. But there's probably going to be like five or six other people that see it before you. And they may be going through an exact same situation. They have may have gone through it. They may know somebody who's gone through it. And you're just building that community of people yes. that almost kind of takes the load off of you a little bit. I like to call Where, it spider web. It is a spider web. Yeah. Nice little chaotic spider web. Yeah. That bitch is going in like eight different directions. Like I, when <laughs> I was in that group chat, it was like, there were like, it's four conversations going on in a single thread. And I was just like, I can't do it this. Has, like my ADHD was just like, no, it but it has, was such uh, a good community. It has subsided quite a bit with all of the five, seven, 30 different conversations it, oh, good. at once. Maybe I'll come back. <laughs> maybe, right. maybe, maybe I'll give it the old college try again. Uh, hey, bet I'll add you back into it as soon as we're oh, done God. with this. <laughs> I'm literally like looking at my phone right now. Like I'm going to see Wookie added you back. <laughs> like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not right now. I'm not cool. I don't have two devices. I only got one. I'm on. No, I'm my. I don't have my second phone. This isn't recorded on my phone. What is this? A computer? Yeah. Shoo, look at I you fancy. go. Fancy. Uh, no, I, I didn't know that you could record off your phone um, when I got all this. So I was very much like out of the loop. <laughs> Hey, it happens. it happens. It does happen. Oh my god! But yeah, you know, so it's what 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 I've tried to do is just try to build a community of support to where, like, if I'm at work and you message in the group that oh man, I'm not this 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 is going on. There there's going to be at at a minimum three to five different people that are going to automatically reach out to you, and then oh, I'm yeah. going to start reaching out to you myself. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, community. That's what we need is community because mental health ain't no joke. No, my best no. friend, uh, my best friend, uh, I'll give him a shout out real quick. This, uh, this may will be 20 years. My best friend, Marine Corps brother killed himself. May of, uh, 2004, right after his daughter was born. Oof. that is uh something that has affected me ever since then i've had sure? two failed attempts myself and uh yeah so every time i talk about this stuff he's always in the he's always in the back of my mind like if i can stop one person from doing what you did then my goal is achieved exactly and i think it's important that you brought that up because Obviously, we're talking about spreading positivity and mental health, and you know that shows that you've you've really you've really struggled with your mental health as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because just because you're on there spreading love and positivity and stuff, and obviously you have like your lives where you're fighting your own demons and stuff like that, but people don't see that as much. They just see the like love light and wookie juice. That happy and... go lucky. Yeah. Looky juiced up. So Goofy it's said, yeah. It's definitely important to note that like it's not always like that. No, but it's, it's also just... important to note that it always isn't like the the really shitty times either. It's not. The good comes with the bad and the bad comes with the good. There is a it's light a... at the end of the longest fucking tunnel. <laughs> yeah. It's a I like to say it's kind of like a uh this may be the wrong analogy, but it's kind of like a mm -hmm. ebb and flow once you no, once you kind of that's on point once you once you once you figure out how to manage it and that is the key is exactly. the managing to where it's not as hard as a fight but if you get to that point you know that you got it mm -hmm. because you know one of my favorite sayings is there's never a need for a permanent solution to a temporary problem yeah even though it doesn't feel like a temporary problem at the time but it exactly is temporary but that's the thing. Like, I always thought that that, um, 
statement was kind of toxic until I looked into it because at the time it, we, it's just because like you also have to validate that it doesn't feel temporary and that's what always like threw me off about that phrase is I was like it doesn't feel temporary to people and and I think once we give some validity to that like if we kind of add on to it so permanent solution to a temporary problem it doesn't feel temporary but it is because yeah. I didn't feel like the two my two attempts like I thought those were permanent. I thought that there was, it was never going to get any better. It was, things were never going to change. And I don't even still live in the same house that I lived in and in, in, with my last attempt. Mm -hmm. I lived 70 fucking miles away from there. Like I'm living on my own. I'm, you know, doing a lot better medically. Like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I think, but I think we also need to just validate the fact that it doesn't feel temporary at the time. Like, especially Correct. when you're, when you're in it, it feels like there's no goddamn end, end in sight. It, it, bam. Hit that nail right on its fucking head. But <laughs> it, 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 the words right out of my damn mouth. It, it, exactly. Good. When you're, when you're, when you're in the thick of it and then in you the start trenches, trying to, as they say, yeah. And then all, all that you see is just shit in the future, just shit in the future, just shit in the future. And then there's that bleep, and then there's that shit in the future. It's that bleep. It's that one little bleep. Mm-hmm. That's letting you know that keep pushing. Keep exactly. pushing. Just, just just keep just keep going. You got this. You're gonna get through it. And and Feel we're here feels. if you need a little extra push, and so is nine eight eight. Nine eight eight is that that Amen. push you definitely need. So and, to and, wrap yeah. And the great thing about 988, you can text that phone number. Even you better. You can call that phone number. And if you don't want to talk to somebody, to an actual human, you can start an online chat mm -hmm. with that number. It's, it's, it's fucking amazing. It's, Absolutely amazing. It's finally got with the times because I know me and my inability to make phone calls, texting would have been wonderful. And it mm -hmm. also keeps you safe if you're in an unsafe situation where you can't be on the phone. Correct. You know, I'm not talking, and I'm not talking like a DV situation. I'm like, and it, it might be that, but also just like, if you don't feel safe, like at home, you know, if you're, you know, a teenager or something like that, and like your parents aren't super accepting of mental health issues or they think they can just mm. sweep it under the rug that's a way that you can talk and be safe with the texting without being overheard and that's so, oh god i would have literally killed to have that as a teenager honest to god so i'm Great so asset. glad it's there for the next 17 year old that doesn't see a way out mm -hmm. that makes me so Oh my God. I don't know if these sounds are going off, but the, there's a Facebook group chat for the bridal party I'm in, in a couple of months. And it's, it's been vibrating. The... <sighs> oh my God. How do I mute this? Let me just... And I was like, hold on. Is that me? Is Let me just me? go ahead and mute this because like, yes, for an hour. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, but yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. So, okay, so to wrap this, um, you always tell everybody, I'm kind of putting you on the spot right now, but you always tell everybody yeah. on your battles or if they're in your boxes or whatever, you always tell them a little something yeah. before you peace out. So, yeah, I sure <laughs> not to do. throw you on the spot, but uh, floor is yours. <laughs> right. Well, I guess before we go, I just want to let, Everybody out there know whether you're watching or you're listening. First and foremost, you are perfect the way you are. You're loved. You matter. You're important. And you're more than, more than enough. The world is a better place with you in it and on it. Stay positive and love your life, my friends. Wookie out. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to throw that. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Oh, my God. Well, dude, thank you so much for coming on. This has been a blast. 
dude, this is absolutely awesome. I, 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 I love this, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Very proud of you. Very excited for what your future is going to entail because all that I see is bright lights and shining stars for you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna make hey. me cry. <laughs> oh, oh, don't, don't cry. You got this. Like, like you, you told me this is what you want to do, and yeah, things are getting motion is a coming. Motion yep. is a coming. The boat is a rocking with good things. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so please come a knocking. The boat is a rocking. Come a knocking. <laughs> so done. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh man, thanks again, man. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. It was a blast.